Hi, welcome back to this parenting series, the ABCs, the absolute basic criteria for raising the next generation. Um, I have G is for great. Also, G is for growth, growth mindset. As we are parenting, it's very important to know that we're always in, in a place of disciplining our children, but discipling them to grow, you know, discipling them to grow, and we want them to grow into greatness. I love uh, the, the book, From Good to Great, and uh, Mr. Collins says in that book that a lot of times good is the enemy of great. And I think sometimes we're thinking about raising good kids and not great kids. And so uh, we want to be good parents and not great parents. You know, let's just take it all the way to greatness. Uh, there's a wonderful scripture, and uh, I, think it's, I think it's great to read right now. So uh, it's important to set the standard high, right? So um, 2 Corinthians 9, 8, and God is able to make every grace, oh, there's another G word, every grace, okay, it's only by the grace of God, overflow to you so that in every way, always having everything you need, you may excel in every good work. This, let's excel. Let's help our kids excel. You know, and we have to help them know you know, um, no matter how good you are right now, let's take it up a notch. You know, that's that growth mindset. And when they get discouraged that things aren't, aren't that they're, they're not already great at everything, say, you know what? You're not yet, but let's work harder. And it's important to not um, say things like, you're just beautiful. You are just um, smart. We want to encourage them, but we mostly want to encourage them to become more beautiful, to become more smart, to take what they have and to continue to grow it. This gives them the growth mindset that they need to be great. Now, some some things you want to keep in mind. Uh, don't ever say you can't. You know, some people are going to have more of a bend towards one thing or another, but you don't ever want to say you can't do something. And if they say, I can't do something, my grandma says, knock off that T. And, um, you know, tell them you can, you just haven't accomplished it yet, but let's just keep trying. And the more you try, the better you're going to get at it. You can do it though. Um, and you know, you want to give your kids lots of different opportunity of, of many different experiences, but not all at the same time. You know, they may be interested in gymnastics or ballet or soccer or baseball or basketball or, um, you know, chess club or debate club or things like this. My brother is a physicist. He was always interested in science, but also basketball. Give them a, a lot of opportunity. But as they begin to see what they really love, invest in what they're already good at so that they have a chance of becoming great at that. So I love what StrengthsFinder says. They say, take what, what somebody is naturally good at, and if you invest in that, that's where they will become great. And I think that's important that we don't um, forget to invest in where they're naturally good at because God gives everybody gifts and he gives your children gifts. So to help find those gifts and help establish those gifts, you know, listen carefully, listen to what their heart desires, invest in that, and then encourage them to grow to greatness. Introduce them to great people that are doing great things. But don't ever try to live your dreams through your children. That's dangerous. But never give up um, introducing them to greatness and to, you know, expect them to say, hey, look, don't just stop at good. Let's push on to great. I've raised four great kids, and I'm now invested in, in time in 10 grandchildren. And I want them to all know that God has a great plan for their life. And at the end of the day, as Matthew 25 says, or the end of their lifetime, I want God to be able to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You know, sometimes greatness is being the best servant of all, and that's important too. But by the grace of God, he's going to help each one of us really grow our gifts to give him honor. And we want to help our kids do that too. If you like this video, be sure to share it and uh, tell your friends about this parenting series. I would love for them to watch the entire series from A to Z. Next week, we will be continuing in the alphabet going on the letter H, so come back for that. And if you'd like to check out my website for more videos, trinatituslozano.com, right there. God bless you. Bye-bye.